This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is a macro. Macros have essentially been around since the advent of the personal computer. I personally have always used macros and can't imagine being without them. What is a macro? A macro is essentially a way of recording a sequence of keystrokes, mouse movements, text insertions, and storing them so that you can use it over and over and over again. So you do it right once and you eliminate all that repetition. So much of what we do on computers is repetitious, that using macros just makes good sense. I personally use Macro Express, but there are a number of other good macro programs and I have links to those in the show notes. Just will show you a few things you can do with macros. Put in the date. Typed a few letters. There's the date. Gets the date from the system. Perhaps I want to put in my butterscotch.com signature that goes at the bottom of my emails. Instead of typing it all out, I type three characters and there it is. Now the majority of people call me Doc. But my daughters don't, so for them, I have a signature to my emails that says Dad. My granddaughter, Kalia, calls me Grandpa, so I have a signature for that, too. For those who call me Doc, I have a signature for that as well. Sometimes I'm in a document and I want to put in a line. There's a line. Sometimes I want a shorter line. And there it is. There's the time. All of these things are macros. So with a very few keystrokes, I've put in a fair amount of text. Macros can be used to connect you to networks, can be used to totally automate complex processes. So a macro is a recording, a collection of keystrokes, text, mouse movements, and more that help remove some of the repetition from your work on the computer. And that's all there is to it. 